they told me what it was from the beginning. This is your sister Jazzy, this is what she has. You're gonna love her regardless, no matter what. She came in our life for a reason. The reason for the strength in the Porter family's bond might seem to be football. Joey Porter Sr. played 13 seasons in the NFL, a Pro Bowl linebacker and Super Bowl champion with the Steelers. His son, Joey Jr., has carried the name to Penn State. Pressure coming and dropped right away. Joey Porter Jr. A huge name with elite football pedigree. You see it? <laughs> if his father has been the example, his sister is the inspiration. Jesse, come on, Jesse, let's go. Wanna go on a golf cart ride? Come on, let's go. She goes, oh, we're going this way. Look, she get out here. Now she's ready to go. <laughs> We call her Jazzy, that's her nickname. I feel like our bond is unique. Um, I'm like the little big brother, in a sense. Jasmine Nyree Porter was born in 1999, the second child in the family. After persistent delays in her development, she was diagnosed with a severe form of autism at two and a half. Hearing the doctor say that my daughter would never talk, and could never live a full life. It's the lowest point of my life, ever. It's the lowest point of my life. They both told me that your sister was autistic. You treat her the same, but she just, she learns differently. She needs hands-on attention all the time. So now it became, what can we do to make sure she lives a good life, and how can we make it the best life that she can live? Unable to find a school environment suited to Jasmine's needs, Christy Porter decided to create her own in Bakersfield, California, where the Porters spent their off seasons. We opened our first facility in 2003. In six months, we were at capacity. She wanted to make a school where everybody is accepted, no matter what kind of disabilities or anything you have or what's going on in your life. Um, if you're going through something, you could come to our school. 18 years later, the family is still serving those with special needs. The Jasmine Nyree campus is set to open later this year in Pittsburgh. Five buildings forming a community and residential center to serve special needs adults. I told my children early on, this is our life's work. What is your legacy going to say about you? It's not football. Our family legacy comes from our compassion and giving to the special need community. Just growing up with my sister made me also want to help other kids in that process because I know it could get tough for them and people turning their back on them or people thinking that they're different and they're really not. Um, you could always love everybody the same way. Jasmine is the inspiration for the campus, but also for her brother, giving him and the family perspective in every day. It's the little things that, like, I try and tell them so they always remember, you know? She never ran, she never go talk. I just try and be more proactive on what she go through on a daily basis to not take anything for granted. And uh, I think they do a good job of that, of not taking stuff for granted. She makes me want to um, go hard every day. I just think of her every time I'm out there on the field. She plays a big part of my life. Every time I'm down, I see her, she brings a big smile to my face. She has her little nine jersey back at home. So, you know, I always have to try to pull on the show for her. She's my sister.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.